imagine you own a restaurant and the customer keeps on calling you for the reservation doing their own reservation but instead of adding more and more staff to handle all the calls what if whatsapp automation can do all this let me show you a demo let me send hey and i'll get a welcome message and they're asking me how can we help you today so reserve a table or list reservation so i can do a reserve a table and after that they're asking me select how many number of people you're going for the reservation so i can select a number but there are three options over here but you can add multiple options over here so let me say i'm going two people and let's send it now it is asking me what time i would come over here so i'll say um, let's say tomorrow 9 pm now it is saying that your booking has been confirmed for tomorrow at 9 pm and we are looking forward to meet you and in the google sheet we can see the entry has also been made so say now you need to check your reservation so you can come over here again and say hey so you are you coming for after a long time and you are again chatting with the system so if you send hey now you can see a list of reservation so i click on it and now i'm getting a message over here that hey lakshir thank you for choosing a restaurant we have confirmed your reservation for two people on september 22 25 at 9 pm if you need to make any changes or have special requests blah 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 but as you can see the system is working perfectly fine this is a very small demo which i have built but your imagination is the limit today you're going to build a such a system but you can customize according to your need so hi my name is lakshit and i help people grow their business using ai so let's get started So to make this system will be requiring two main component over here one component which will allow us to message between the whatsapp and second component to handle all the messages so for the first component we'll be using twilio so twilio you all might be knowing or if the person who not not knowing twilio is the official partner of whatsapp where they provide us the api using which we can do the whatsapp messaging so first come over here and do the login once you have completed the login you will be seeing such a similar page uh, in your dashboard now you'll be getting $15.5 as the initial credit. So using that, now we have a three steps to do. First step, we need to buy a phone number. So how to buy it? So you can see in the left hand side, there is a phone number. Click on that. And you can see manage option. Click on manage option and buy a number. And now there are multiple numbers over here. Whichever number you want, you can buy it. And but make sure that the, that the capability of voice and SMS is enabled. And now as you can see the monthly fees of $1.15, which will be debited from the free credit. So click over here, buy, and you can buy the number okay and now once you have bought the number now we need the whatsapp sender okay so for that you can come over here jump to search for whatsapp sender and now we click on whatsapp sender now we can create a new sender so when you click on new sender we need to select the phone number which you bought okay you can connect your own phone number but you need to do the validation and multiple other things so for now we are going with the number which we bought and continue and now you need to connect your Facebook account. So for that, you click on the continue with Facebook and you will be given a set of steps. It's a very simple steps. Just follow the instruction and you are good to go. If you want to see a detailed video of how I did it, how I bought the phone number, how I connected the WhatsApp sender, that video is in the I button. You can check out. Okay. So now once you have the WhatsApp sender, you will be seeing this page where your sender status will be online. Okay. So it will take some time from pending to online, but it will happen. So once it is done, you can click on the WhatsApp number and now you'll be seeing this page. So now in order to pass the message, which we are getting to the backend, so we need to have a webhook URL and how we'll be getting the webhook URL. So for that, we'll be requiring the second component, which is Aniton. What is Aniton? So Aniton is a low code automation tool, which can automate anything. Whatever thing come to your mind, Aniton can automate that. So for that, you can do the sign in. So for that, there are two options. You can go with the cloud version or the open source version in the open source you can self host and you can use it your data is secured in your system if you're just curious how does this entity work you can opt for cloud version it's uh, you can opt for cloud version you're in the link below in the description you will get a 14 day free trial but if you're serious and you want to go all in into the there is a link in the bio you can click on that and you will land in this page over you i'm using hostinger for a long time and i have tried multiple services Hosting will give you one click solution where your Anaton will be deployed and you are good to go. So for that, and they have a very cheap price for what the service they provide. For the cloud version, you will be paying almost around 2500 per month. And top of that, you will be having the restriction of execution. And there is no restriction of self host So you can come over here and select the KVM2 because this is the version I'm using. And if you want to go with the mild version, you can go with the KVM1. Okay, you can choose the plan. And 
I will be giving you a special offer of more 15% off. If you choose 24 month, you can come over here and type the coupon code of <clears throat> Lakshit15 and apply. And you will get a 15% off. But if you want to go with the 12, 12 month option, you, you can go with that as well. And come over here and write Lakshit, Lakshit10. And you will get 10% off over here as well. Once you are done, do the payment and you are good to go. So now in the hosting the platform, you will be seeing this in home page. You will be seeing this VPS option. Click on manage and you can see the end has been installed. Just click on the manage app and you are good to go and you'll be seeing this page. Okay. So once you are in this page, click on the create workflow and we'll be creating the whole workflow. So I have already created the workflow and this is the workflow which you're going to build today. So don't worry. Don't get overwhelmed. I'll be breaking down each and everything. So now, as I mentioned you, we need to pass the message which we are getting in the WhatsApp to some place else. So for that, we'll be requiring a webhook URL. So in the end as you can see, our initial step is to get the webhook URL and this is a trigger. And what is a trigger? So trigger is something which starts the workflow. So in our case, the webhook, which, which will contain the message which we get in the WhatsApp. So for that, you can click on the plus icon, search for webhook. Inside the webhook, you will see in this lightning icon. This lightning icon means it's a trigger. Okay. So now once we have that, so inside that you will be seeing this test URL and the production URL. For the testing purpose, we can use the test URL and for the production purpose, we'll be using the production URL. So right now let's do one thing. Let's copy the test URL, go to Twilio, go to Twilio and paste the URL over here and make sure that HTTP post method is selected and go to bottom and update the WhatsApp sender. And now to check everything is working properly or not, what you can do, you can go to Aniton and make sure the HTTP method is pushed because there is a post method over there and everything remains same and listen for the test event. Now go to WhatsApp. Now in the WhatsApp, we need to message this. The number which you bought, search for that number. You can save that number with whatever name you want. Search that number and do the message. Like I am sending, hey. And now go to Aniton and you will be seeing that hey message has been received. If this is work, if this, if you're getting the hey message, congratulations, your first message has been received by Aniton. Now let's proceed ahead. Now to send this option of reserve table and list reservation, we require a template. So we need to create the template. So for that, we'll be going to Twilio. Inside Twilio, in the bottom, you'll be seeing the messaging. Inside messaging, there is a content template builder. Click on that. And now we need to create our own template. So as you can see, I have multiple templates over here created. I'll be showing you how to create. So you can come over here, click on create new. You can give any template name, select the languages, English or whatever language you want. And in the content type, we require a quick reply. Okay. So let me go back. Let me show you one of the, I have created. So as you can see, I have a start menu. So I can click on start menu, which is the content type of quick reply and the body, right? Anything. So over here, you can see there's a curly bracket. So it's a variable because we need to customize for the user. So any user can come and we want to greet them with the personal name. Their personal name will be replaced over here. So hi, curly bracket, welcome to Balaji or whatever restaurant name or whatever purpose you're building it. And you can write the message over here and give the sample name, which will be replacing this kind of curly braces that can be changed according to the message you are getting. But for just the confirmation of video, we're putting this name. And now you can write the button name and make sure don't add any kind of emoji over here. So I had wasted two hours figuring out why I'm not getting the response. It was because I had placed the emoji over here. Okay. Keep it simple. So reserve a table and give an ID. This ID should be unique because this ID will play a major role in our backend workflow and give the another name list reservation and give the ID as well. So once you are done this then save the workflow and you'll be getting this as ID over here. Just copy the S ID. And now along with the S ID, we'll be requiring the uh, username and password using which we'll be sending the message. So for that, go to account dashboard and now copy. Now, now I'm saying what all thing to copy. The first thing we copied is kind of the template ID. Second thing we will be requiring this account S ID. And now to send the message, we'll be requiring the API key. So for that, we'll go to go to API key. The confirm, just confirm your email ID. They might be asking, they might not ask, but I'll, let me do it. Now give some proper name. Let's say I give Aniton demo three, then select the region accordingly. And the key type, make sure to select main and click on create. And now you'll be getting the SID and the secret. Just copy this. Now let's go to the Aniton. So now inside Aniton, now we have a workflow over here. So, so now inside the Aniton, it's time to send the workflow. So first, before sending the workflow, we have two types of message. First is a normal text message like, Hey, we'll be receiving from the user. And second is the button interaction, which we'll be getting. So for that, we have a if loop over here. This if loop checks 
does the message type which we are getting is a text or interactive button okay now if, if it is text we are going over here and now we have an initial message which we are sending hey always to get the start menu which is kind of a reserve table and a list uh, reservation so for that we have the another if loop which checks does the initial message is of kind of hey and we have a ignore case is equal to true okay and once we execute this step then we'll be going through this http method so to get this if uh, node and the http node click on the plus icon select for if node you will get the if node over here and for the http node we'll be getting searching for http request over here okay once you have this node we click on this http node inside this the method should be pushed the url let me expand it in the url this much part will remain the same and this part is the account sid as i told you in the account dashboard page let me show you in the account dashboard page we have this account sid just copy this and paste it over here and this message.json will remain the same once you have the url now it's time to create the authentication as we have copied the api secret and username so we'll come over here in authentication we'll select a, a generic credential type in the generic auth type we'll select the basic auth and in the uh, credential we'll create a new credentials okay come over here paste the sid which we got from the api key and the password which you got and just save it just make sure to give a proper name which will help you to identify once you've done that thing now it's time to send the body inside the body in the content type we'll be sending the form url encoded in specific body type we'll be using the using specific body and now we need to send the message to whom we need to send the message to us to the user correct so whenever we are getting the message in the first place we are sending the message there are two entity over here first is a user entity second is the assistant which is, which is our bot whenever in the initial time we are sending the hey message we are the person from which we are getting the message so in the left hand side you will be seeing there is something called as to and from over here so in the initial message we are the from person and to is assistant assistant uh, number so now in now when we want to send the message assistant is sending the message to whom to us so we need to convert this from over here because this is us and inside the from part we'll be sending to the uh, assistant over here okay and now another parameter is content sid so this content sid is nothing but in template builder whatever template you have built this id is called as content sid we're copying that id in pasting over here and now in the variable there was a variable if you remember in curly bracket called as username so in the username we need to pass the person name so that name will be getting in the profile name over here just drag and drop and you are good to go and now if i execute this step you will see we have sent the message thing has happened so the whatsapp as we can see this message has been received over here the reserve table and the re list reservation now since it is in test mode whenever we want to run we, we have to come over here and execute the workflow again and again okay so for that we'll execute the workflow now it is running it is waiting for the confirmation now in the whatsapp we'll be selecting reserve table once you selected it if you go to any time now we'll be seeing that it, it has uh, it has gone through this path let me let me explain you this path over here so now what we are doing now again we are checking is it a normal message or interactive message so now in the message type if you will see we are getting it's an interactive part so we are going in, in the false branch now inside the false branch we need to see which button has been selected so in our journey there are total three type of button first is the reserve table button second there is a kind of button for the whatever uh, booking has been done and third number of people we are selecting so now it's a reserve button so now in the button payload so there is a name called as button payload if you remember we have paste the id correct so this was a reserve id which we had selected over there so now we are getting the reserve now we are going into this branch now we need to ask the user how many number of people so for that we need to create the another template so we'll go to twilio so inside the twilio we need to create another uh, template which is this template you can give any name which is kind of a number of people and now in the body you can write please select the number of people for your reservation in the list text we want to have number of people and whichever item two people then give proper id okay description over here four people four people this all information and now let's come over here and now in the whatsapp as you can see we are giving option we are getting an option to select the number of people so we can click on select number of people and now, this, now these are the option which we put in our template now you can select any option let me do two people and send it and now in the n10 
you can see it has gone through this route over you so let let's go through this route now this is quite understandable now in the switch we, we know that it's a list selection is kind of uh, this id list id okay so in the list selection what we are checking we are checking that uh, does this list id exist or not okay if it exists then you are going through this branch and now we need to give an option and now we need to send a normal message no template message just a normal message to ask to ask for the preferred time now in the time slot we can see this all things remain same now in the encoded option to and from also remain same now instead of content sid we are passing body over you now in the body we are asking user please mention your preferred date and time okay now if i go to whatsapp now we can see we are getting the option of please mention your preferred date and time now let's say tomorrow tomorrow 7 pm let's send it and go to anytime and now it has got the message and now it is going through this route let's see this route in the message interactive we know it's kind of a normal message and not uh, uh kind of button click so it is going through this branch and now it is detecting the message so we have not sent the hey message it is different message we are going through this branch and now we have an ai agent which will detect what message we have got and store it inside the excel sheet so it open this and we have this body message which uh, where in the message we have written tomorrow 7 pm okay which is we are getting over here and now we have system prompt this is a very simple simple system prompt which is saying that you are a restaurant manager you will be getting a message from you will be getting a message from that identify the date and time i need two response first i need the pure date and time and second i need a message that your booking has been confirmed so that we can send the message to the user and now if we go back you can see we are getting two information over here date and time okay and the booking message and now we need to toggle this required specific output on to send such kind of a json format and in that we will be sending the structured output part over here if you click on the per second you will be getting the structured output parser inside that we will be mentioning this date underscore time and booking message okay once we have that now we need to store this information inside the excel sheet so if you go to the excel we will be seeing this information correct now once we have that so how to how to do this now inside the excel we will click on the excel part and now we have this in all information now to connect your uh, excel account i have created dedicated video for this you can check in the i button and now we need to have a resource as uh, resource as sheet within document update row okay yeah before that i missed one part over here this is kind of update row but before updating the row we need to make an entry correct for that we forgot that whenever we select whenever the user selected the time slot we have created the excel entry already so in that you will be seeing that we were passing the phone number the person name number of people and status we were keeping as not confirmed okay and now this time we are changing the status we are changing, changing the status to confirm over you that's the reason in excel you are seeing this the status is confirmed okay now in the anytime everything has been happened now once everything has been confirmed booking has been confirmed now if you want to check your booking what you can do you can come to the uh, whatsapp again send hey again after sending the hey we'll be getting this two option reserve a table and list reservation and now when click on risk uh, now and click on list reservation in our anytime we'll be seeing that this route is happening where what we are doing this all thing remain the same you might you have got a proper gist now okay now in the ai agent what this AI agent is doing it is getting the message from the excel and presenting to us in the whatsapp Okay, as you can see the message been posted but don't worry about the um don't worry about the formatting and everything you can work on the ai agent that will do the work okay now in the anytime we are seeing that in the ai agent we are telling very small system message that's the reason we are not getting the proper uh, proper response but yeah you are a restaurant booking manager you will be getting a phone number in the chat input you have to get the booking information and, and draft a proper message and now once you have that we in the tool we have added the excel sheet where we are telling that get the person detail from the excel sheet and from to get the in personal detail we are using the phone number which is the unique identifier once we have that we are getting the proper information and once we are getting the proper information we are sending the uh, normal message again as you can see all the information remains same in the body we are passing this information okay now once we have that thing we are getting this information so as you saw how simple it is to create this a uh, simple flow now if you want to get this whole workflow which i created you can go to my school community inside that go to classroom inside youtube resource and now inside youtube resource and under social media automation you will be seeing the restaurant booking whatsapp template where you will be seeing the resource you can download and you will be in the same page if you like this video you will like this video as well